Hello everyone, welcome back to Symphony of the Night. Hope you're doing well, thanks for joining me, let's get started. So, we find ourselves at the Outer Wall once again. I could actually probably go and take on the final boss of this castle right now. I might actually just do that for lols. Obviously it's not the final boss of the game as I have mentioned before and you're probably already aware of that, but nonetheless... We'll give it, give it a shot. I don't really remember too well how it goes anyway, so we'll see what happens, won't we? Pop in here, we'll warp to the castle keep. Okay. It appears to warp anti-clockwise, which is useful. Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Yep. Might as well just do this to save some time. And I think probably just go upwards. Um, <laughs> do you want to get out of the way? Oh, come on, man. Nearly had it. Never mind. We'll go uh, up the conventional route. Could have shot him with a fireball, but what the hell. So this is um, the equivalent of this in this castle of the staircase that we climbed up as Richter at the very beginning of the game in uh, the final stage of um, Rondo of Blood. Now that item, as you can see, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> That's wasted a lot of hearts. But there was this secret room in as Richter, uh, which gives us a clue. Frankfurter, pot roast, turkey, sirloin, all good things to restore some HP. I probably shouldn't have taken that cross item because it uses a ton of hearts. Resistance items, platinum mail. That's an improvement on the ice mail, so we'll equip it. And can we get some hearts from here? Bloody hope so. Yes, we can. Heart max up. To be honest, I probably shouldn't have taken that item at all. I really think I've shot myself in the foot doing that, but... Never mind, eh? I'll just grab a few more. Tedious though it may be, and it is. And then we'll take on the lord of this castle. Well, this isn't going up too slow. Try not to spend the whole video doing repetitive menial tasks this time. Watching back the one where I got the healing mail and I was just running against the wall and then died on the Karasuman boss straight away. Possibly my most embarrassing moment on this channel so far, so I uh, apologise for that in hindsight, it was absolutely terrible. Okay, that's probably enough. 99. I've been waiting for you. Richter, why would a Belmont ever plan to resurrect Count Dracula? Dracula rises once a century. One chance for each Belmont to shine. And then we're finished. Forgotten. If I bring him back now, the battle can last for eternity. Yeah, so that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> Richter also appears to have the same power-up as I have. Uh, he's pretty tricky. He has quite a few special moves, as you can see, which can quite easily sort of stunlock you in various positions. Uh, but you, the trick is just to try and stunlock him back. Okay, well that was shit. What a waste of time. Uh, so, to be quite honest, I will do that Richter battle, but I'm not going to do it now. That was just uh, a preview. 
basically, when you defeat Richter there, then the game ends. But that isn't... Obviously, that's not the entirety of the game's content, you know? So... Should I try him once more, or should I... Not? Let's try him once more, and save it... At the... Castle Keep. I'm not going to get that stupid crucifix item this time. I may as well do this now so that we can then focus on... Because getting the proper ending requires a fair amount more content in the game. And to do that... Uh, requires... You know, to do that is all sort of in one set, if you know what I mean, in one section of content. So it just makes sense to do this now that we have it available. And then to focus on doing it properly. That's what makes sense in my head. Well, the alternative is just to get the items that we need to continue the story. Defeat Richter and get the bad ending. And then carry on beyond that point. But that just means we'll have to do him twice in quick succession, so... I like this one more. Right, I'm maxed out with hearts, I'm... Yeah, and I've got the book item, which... is better. Let's try him with this one. Oh, dear. Yeah, he needs to not do that, really. That would be quite... That would be ideal. Uh, he also needs to stop spamming the whip and the axe. I can't seem to hit him with my book. But, uh... This was one of the bosses I always remember just using the crystal. Every time. Uh, let's see. High potion, I guess. Um, okay, he's done. Power, my greatest attack. Or is he? Little rain. Well, that's uh, just not, not fair at all, is it, Richter? Hit me with acid rain. Uh, let's see. Lots of other things. Oh, I didn't get the uh, food items up top. Oh, that sucks. I think I'm now out of healing items. Wow! Holy crap! Come, fight harder! I still lust for blood. Okay. Um. Now I am actually going to carry on with the rest of the game. Now, to continue to uh, one point that we need... In fact, I think, if memory serves, both points that we need to continue towards the good ending. What we need to do is to go down into the underground caverns. To the area where... Oh, there's also Old Rox's quarters, which we haven't explored properly, but we'll do that afterwards. Um, what we need to do is go to the point where there was that wooden bridge and I said we could get one of those barrel throwing Donkey Kong skeletons to uh, break the bridge for us. We need to do that next because that unlocks uh, the next area. I'm thinking that probably the quickest way to get there is going to be from here which I think is Olrox's quarters. Yeah, so... We need to go down through the the clock room. It's a fair distance. That also means, unfortunately, taking these guys on. And I hate these blade men. Even when you kill them, they're just like... They throw the sword like a total troll move. Damn it. Shambolic. These hammer bros aren't too bad. 
Although obviously you don't want to get hit with that giant Dark Souls hammer. It's like Sm Smaug's hammer from Dark Souls. Oh, however you say that word. I've heard that word pronounced in many different ways. I originally thought it was Smorg based on how it was how it was spelt, but most people seem to say Smaug or Smaug. I guess that makes sense in the context of like Smaug the dragon from The Hobbit. Which is spelt the same way, just without the H. Okay. Oh, we can also fly up here now. We have the bat thing. I can't remember what's... Oh, no, I do remember what's up here. Potion, hammer, life apple. I can't remember what the life apple does exactly. Heals familiar. Nice. And here is the gravity boots, a relic which where it can jump high. So now we can jump higher as well as double jumping, which is a very useful thing to have. And we can continue, let's see, this way is going to be the quickest way, isn't it? Flea man. Bane of my existence. Most annoying enemy in the game by far. Um, I'll keep this. Ouija table. So that's a, a table that's been used for like a, a seance which has been possessed by the spirit of, that's been conjured. Quite a cool enemy. Very original design. Although it is actually just a table. Still, anyway, it's important to remember that there is that heart max up just before Richter, which we'll need to get. While we're there. Well, we need to get whether we fight him then or not. Okay, uh, that was the Zircon, we've got that, okay, uh, we can just drop down, can't we? Keep going. Not too bothered about these guys. All the way down. I saw a platform there. What does it do? Does it do anything? Okay, well there was an entrance further up. Apparently. Huh. Very interesting. What, pray tell, is in this? $400. Oh, I remember this. This bit's pretty interesting. Claymore. That's a two-handed sword, is it not? Scotch two-handed sword. Don't call them Scotch. They don't like that. Call them Scottish. Scotch is whiskey. People from Scotland are Scottish, not Scotch. Uh, right. Don't need the hearts, but money's always good. Meal ticket, meal ticket, meal ticket, meal ticket, 
and something I can't seem to reach. A moonstone. What does that do? Improves status after sunset. Huh. Right, I think one of these sides was a save room. Yes, we need to save here. Important that we save here. Okay. And um, this is quite interesting, this scene. What the hell is this? A nightmare, apparently. Mother! Alucard, is that you? I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Stay away! Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. No! I won't let this happen! It's too late. Just stay with me. Hear my last words to you. Yes, Mother. Humans. You cannot live with them. You can only hate them. Do them harm. What? Theirs is such a hard lot. Release them from their pain. Begin with the ones who killed me. No. It wasn't like this. Alucard, what's wrong? My mother never said such a thing. What do you mean? I am your mother. Do as I say. Release them. Kill them. No. You are not my mother. What kind of demon are you? <laughs> Strong enough to break my spell, hmm? I like that. You deserve worse than death for this demon. Then give it to me, little boy. Don't be shy. <laughs> give it to me, little boy. Don't be shy. Uh, I remember this boss being really difficult, so we'll have to uh, see how we get on here. But... Uh, She's definitely touched a nerve with uh, Alucard here because bloody copies. Why is it so common for female enemies in games to copy themselves? Ow. Unfortunately the crystal really isn't very useful in this boss fight. Hey, that was easy. Darkling, I smell your blood, your hunger. That strength, that beauty. You really are the son of Lord Dracula. Death in the dream world will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait! I beg of you! No! The gold ring is one of the uh, two items that we need to uh, do that Rick to fight the the proper way. So that's one of our objectives complete. Uh, good that we are in roughly the right area of the world map to go for the second one as well. Unfortunately, the second one uh, isn't quite as simple as that to get hold of, but uh, it still shouldn't take a massive amount of time, from what I remember. What we're actually going for is not uh, the other relic itself that we need, it's the Spike Breaker Armor. If you recall... Um, the area at the top of the world map with the tall towers and the, the crows and the hunter girls. Uh, there was that room off to the left 
which we couldn't get into because there were spikes all the way along the floor and the ceiling. And I said that we needed to get the spike breaker armor in order to traverse that corridor. That's what we're going for now, the spike breaker armor. And I think I remember how to get this passageway open, but... Well, we haven't actually been down here yet, so... This is what I was looking for before. However, we appear to have uh, found another boss, the Scylla Worm. This is all getting a bit Scylla, to quote uh, the Prince Regent from Blackadder. Well, that was insultingly easy. What's this? An item down there. A pot roast. We can get an item which allows us to... Oh yes, I remember this boss too. It has uh, several Scylla Worms, so that was just a preview, really. Remember, the bubbles really hurt. And I think, yes, they shoot forward. I think I may have come to this quite late, though, because I'm probably too... I'm probably over-leveled for this fight. But they only seem to be doing one damage per projectile hitting me, so... And you can deal with the bubbles before they shoot forward. They like turn into skulls and that's when they move, but this is still uh, proving tricky to negotiate, but eh. Go with the crystals. Yeah, so I think I'm probably uh, <laughs> far too leveled for these bosses because I didn't even level up in defeating that one, but the crystal cloak. Uh, yes, that's definitely an improvement. Enchanted semi-invisible cape. Ooh. It's flickery. It's like Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. Has the flooding gone down? Yes, it has. Scimitar. Yeah, absolute crap. Yeah, I should definitely have done this area uh, when I first came here, but never mind. Resist ice. Now, uh... I'll just save it back up here, seeing as how I've done a mini boss and a full boss in the last like five minutes. Oops, hitting my microphone. Ah, uh, thank you. Right, so uh, down here is at the bottom of this uh, tunnel is what I was looking for the first time we came here. This ice floor you can break with your sword and uh, get further down. These frozen shades aren't too much of a problem now. In fact, nothing here really is. Oh, it's the boatman. Thy destiny awaits, O oh prince. Actually, this is a different guy, I believe. He was called Ferryman. I think the other one was Oarsman. I could be wrong. Oh, come back! This is a health and safety nightmare, this boat ride. He didn't tell me to keep my hands and arms inside the vehicle and duck under the extremely low cavern ceiling above freezing freezing water uh, with bats everywhere. In fact, this is going really badly. Okay, we're done. 
What's this? My destiny. My density. Do we get a few more hearts to replenish those? What's this? Holy symbol. Protection while underwater. Okay, so that's what we wanted. That means we can now explore the underwater sections without constantly taking damage. So it's kind of like the Varia suit in Metroid. In fact, it's exactly like that. Elixir. Very similar to like the Mega Man underwater sections where you just jump ludicrously high but like have weird stiction. Let's see. I'll uncover the rest of this area of the map while we can. Appealing to my own OCD there. There is a deeper section coming up just here. Here we go. Ooh, just what I wanted. Over 200 HP now. Um, a knuckle duster. That's another like fist punch upgrade weapon, which I'm really not uh, a huge fan of those at all. But it's nice that they uh, brought that back in the forthcoming Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Which of course I did a, a playthrough of the demo of that game on this channel. And instead of uh, Al like Alucard's signature punch when he doesn't have a weapon equipped, the uh, protagonist of that game, Miriam, has like a high kick instead. And you can get these like Kung Fu kicky boots which improve that in the same way. And I much prefer the kick to Alucard's punch. So quickly before I end the episode, I'm going to go and try and uh, open up that next area. From the wooden bridge. And we'll see how we get on. Uh, yeah, there's still a large amount of this area that I've not explored yet. Some item down there as well. See what we can find. God damn it! I can't even hit him with the crystals. Okay, what's down here? Some fishy versions of the bone pillars. Fish head. Not an illusory floor. They fire like a sonar wave instead of a fireball, which is a nice touch. And these ones fire like torpedoes. Torpedo files. Ah! Don't turn into the wolf, you stupid idiot. Nunchaku. Oh, they hurt quite a bit. Okay, that's that side explored. <laughs> he really can jump high when he's underwater, like space jumps. What's down here? Many more of these fellas. They really do hurt quite a lot. Not a lot else there, by the looks of it. Oh, 
They're torpedo ones, aren't they? Clearly. <laughs> Resist ice, anti venom. How is he being able to breathe fire underwater? Explain that, please. Also, kindly stop taking off all of my HP. <coughs> Excuse me. That is what I wanted. 207. Doing very well. Yep, that appears to be the whole area. Okay, this is where we need to be uh, going. But just further to the left somewhere should be another room. I remember this. I think you can get... Yes, you can. Secret boots. What do they do? Discreetly increases height. Why not? Behind this waterfall... There is something, I believe. Another one of those, which is extremely good. Where was that guy? Possibly at the top left. We'll know it as soon as we get there. I know it's around here somewhere. Let's try over here. This... I think this is it. Yes. Something appeared by the wooden bridge. And we've got the Herald Shield. Uh, that appears to be exactly the same as the shaman shield. So, we will leave it for now. So now we'll just uh, head back to where we were. Oh, the skeleton ape is clearly supposed to be uh, a, a nod to Donkey Kong as well. With the fact that it's called a skeleton ape. And it is a, an ape looking skeleton that throws barrels. So this is the guy who's appeared, right? And uh, he's already pissing me off, but... What we need to do is go off this side, back on again, kill this frog, kill this frog, kill this toad. Okay, what we need to do is not, not kill him, not get too close. Let him follow us over here. Come on, mate. Okay. Throw the barrel. No, don't throw it like that. Annoying how you have to kill the frogs every time. Come on. Okay. Throw the barrel. Ah. Oh. Right, I dodged the wrong way. That was entirely my fault. Third time lucky. Not third time lucky. Getting slightly ridiculous now. Come 
No, too close. Getting money though, I guess. And probably one point of experience for each of these frogs. Right. Hop on over. Ah, that frog appears to have stopped. No, he's coming. Come on then. Okay, throw the barrel. That didn't work either. Jesus Christ. Must have to get him earlier. Okay, let's try here. Throw the barrel. Yes! Bloody hell. Heart max and life max. Down into a new area. Thank Christ. The abandoned pit to the catacomb. What a ridiculously ostentatious name. Now uh, let's just try these doors, see if there's a save room. Please be a save room. Nope. Oh good, a boss. I remember this boss being very difficult as well. It's Kerberos. The guard dog of the underworld. So it stands to reason that he will be quite a difficult boss, and bloody hell. Bloody fucking hell. Don't do the upward one. Eww. Seems to have got him into a good pattern here. As long as my crystals hold out, there we go. And a level up, and a life max. Thank you very much. Can I save the game now? No. So I'm going to go back and try that other door. Give me some hearts. Save room. Hey! Alright, we're done here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, let me know what you think. Leave me a like. I'll see you next time for more Symphony of the Night. Take care, everyone, and goodbye.